Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thanks for watching. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. I'm going to show y'all my little nighttime skincare routine. It's real quick and simple. So we're going to start off by washing our hands with some antibacterial soap. You don't want to touch your face with no dirty hands. So get y'all some antibacterial soap because like this is mandatory. Oop, see, the nail shop cut my fingers with their drill and my shit over there burning. But anyways, like I was saying, y'all got to wash your hands because Y'all break up. I said break ups. Ooh, y'all breakouts are not gonna clear up. Constantly touching your face with some dirty hands. So, yeah, you're gonna start off by washing your face. Get all the little impurities and dirt off your face with a clean rag, with some warm water, not too hot, not too cold. You're just gonna get all of that stuff off your face. You got to start with a clean slate because if you don't, this whole video is going to be pointless. That's just anytime you have to start your skin off clean. I mean, that's common sense. But as y'all can see, I'm just getting all up in there. Make sure you get all up in there, especially in the creases of your nose because that tends to be a place where a lot of people uh, face like has build up especially like pores be clogged and stuff but anyways we're gonna go in with our CeraVe moisturizing cream now y'all this is a great moisturizing cream especially for when it's cold outside I don't use this every day but times like these where it's been 30 and 40 degrees outside it's great and it's water-based um that's what I'm trying to show y'all now it's a water-based so any water-based products automatically uh win so yeah this is a great like moisture barrier thing for your face so i just go in with like that much i'm probably gonna end up using a little bit more it's really no such thing as using too much with this product so you know use how should i say as you as you would eat up i don't even know y'all I can't even think. But anyways, y'all just gonna go in rubbing it all in there. Get it all through, you know. It's really not hard. You put this on once you clean your face. I don't use um y'all might be wondering, I don't use like all those facial products like cleansers, toners. This is how I got my skin to stop breaking out. I still <laughs> I stopped using all of those products because I tend to feel like those products were breaking me out more. So I stopped using all of those products and started just cleaning my face with water, which helps, which is why I don't have any active breakouts. So that's another tip to throw. And if you do have any active breakouts, um, a great thing to go and buy would be an aloe vera plant. Get the plant. Cut it up and wash the gel because that it will have your face itching. So wash the gel. Now, as you can see here, I'm going in. It wasn't zoom, y'all. Anyways, I'm going in with uh, my CeraVe on my lips too because it's a great lip moisturizer, especially for nighttime right before you're going to sleep. You're not talking to anything, so it gives you time to settle in. So I do recommend using this for your lips too. Now this, this right here, y'all, <laughs> as you can see, y'all, this oil that I made, I might start selling it, but I'm going to give y'all some little ingredients that I put up in here. Well, I'm going to give y'all all of them. I'm not going to be stingy. So I used grapeseed oil, sunflower seed oil, hemp seed oil, and rosehip oil. Now all of these oils are great. For inflammation uh, they're great for not they're a uh, non comedenic so they're not gonna clog your pores that's the great thing about those the uh, grapeseed oil is definitely great for inflammation It's high in antioxidants and all of it 
and the sunflower seed oil. I really made this formulation based off of my skin type. I feel as if I have kind of a normal skin type. And sunflower seed oil is great for that right there. And then, what's the other one that I use? Rose hip, rose hip. Now, rose hip, you might see a lot of products, a lot of people facial products with rose hip. It's, it has, like, vitamins A, C, E, like, I mean, you literally cannot go wrong with it. You can't, like, I mean, it's great. And then the other oil, I said rose hip, grape seed, um... Sunflower is one more. The hemp seed, hemp seed. Oh, yeah. The hemp seed oil, y'all. Yeah. I'm telling you, the hemp seed oil is great for all of it. <laughs> I play so much. But uh, to each his own. As y'all can see, I mix all of that oil in there and I'm just rubbing it in, making sure I'm getting it all in there. It, it's going to have your face shining. And I add a little layer of lip gloss to have my lips shining too. But I can name, a, I'm going to list the names of the oils I'm about to tell y'all that's good. They're non comedonic oils. Grape seed, sunflower seed oil, sweet almond oil, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, tea tree oil, argan oil. You can research these oils to your skin type and mix them equal parts. Like, look at this. The formula that I made for my skin. How could y'all not? Like, I mean, look at the skin. It's skinning. Like, how could you not? But, hey. Y'all, I'm telling y'all. Look up these oils. Find your own little formulation. Or y'all can use mine. I'm not saying y'all can use mine. Which is the grape seed, sunflower, hemp seed, and rose hip. That <laughs> Y'all thought I had. My, my gown looked like some little, uh little fat up under my arms i play too much but yeah i really suggest that y'all can try mine out um if you do try mine out put it in the comments if you see a difference because y'all i made this oil and i want to say my skin has made progress in like two months y'all like look i'm y'all gonna see the picture of how my skin was in the thumbnail like but anyways i'm about to hurry up and get off here i just had to give y'all a little tips on how to get skin like mine but y'all bye <laughs>